Stunning announcement for people in Franklin County. The area's only hospital is shutting down in a little more than a week. WNCN's Michael Hyland went to Lewisburg to find out why. He joins us live with a story. Michael. And just a few minutes ago, the hospital started admitting patients to its emergency room only. And that's going to be the case here until next Friday morning. And that's when the hospital will stop admitting patients altogether. Administrators say they were losing money here and fewer patients are coming through the doors. They notified the state today about the plan. A spokeswoman says the hospital was on course to lose $6.7 million this year. It's also averaging just eight patients a day. 129 people who work here will be affected. The vast majority are full time. We talked to a woman who lives across the street from the hospital. She moved here a few years ago specifically to be near it when her husband was dealing with serious medical issues. The hospital was so, so important to us. It was the most important thing. My husband uh, passed away there in 2012, but they helped him so many times in so many ways. There will also be changes at the Perry Metters Medical Group and Franklin General and Vascular Surgery offices. They're a couple miles down the road from here. They're going to be open until early December, and that's to give patients time to find new health care providers. But they may stay open beyond that if they're converted to private practices. What's happening here is similar to what's happening at rural hospitals across America, a lot of them dealing with various financial issues. We also checked in with the county's EMS providers to figure out how this is going to impact them going forward, and we're going to have more on that coming up new at 7. Live in Franklin County, Michael Highland, WNCN News. Michael, thank you.